Time for another road trip in the Ranger and a 7,700 mile review. Got a good one for you. Let's roll. Welcome back to Touring and Trails. I am your host, Jim, on another adventurous road trip. And on the other side of the camera is the lovely Miss Dee Dee. She's Hi. keeping us safe, so both hands <laughs> on the wheel, straight forward, ready to rock and roll. So where are we going today? That's a good question because I'm not going to tell you yet. Uh, but we've got a lot of fun in store for today, and so let's keep going. So while we're driving down beautiful America, let's talk about the truck. We've just clicked a little over 7,800 miles on it and that's in three months so I'm putting them on quick but I want to do a quick review and just talk about five criteria that that I want to talk about that's been pretty good with this truck so number one fit form and function so when I talk about fit form and function I'm talking about how is it built when I'm driving do I hear a lot of wind noise no when you shut the doors, do they shut nice or do you have to slam it? They shut really good. You hear little creaks and all kinds of sounds coming from the dash or anywhere. Not at all. It's a very well built truck. Well put together. You can tell that quality was definitely number one on the agenda when they put this thing together. Number two on our review criteria is the powertrain. So, 10 speed transmission scared me a little at first. But it's really flawless. You don't find it chasing gears. It doesn't seem to have a hard time deciding what gear to go in. You really don't even know it has 10 gears in it. So the transmission is just perfect. The motor, a 2.3 liter turbocharged four cylinder. Plenty of power when you need it, but when you keep your foot out of it, you're gonna get great gas mileage. I'm averaging no less than 22 miles per gallon. So that means since I bought it, it's actually been improving on the fuel economy. And I guess that's just because everything's kind of working itself through. Uh, but the powertrain's great. The, the axles, I mean, there's, there's just nothing wrong at all with this powertrain. I've towed a small trailer. I've hauled a little bit of stuff in the bed. Absolutely no issue. Number three, I want to talk about the four-wheel drive capabilities of this truck. As you know, it already has the terrain modes. You got, you got a four high, four low. You got sand and mud and the rocks and anything that you want to set it to that it's gonna let the computer figure out how to get through the terrain. And I can tell you that we did test the four wheel drive on this. I also forgot to mention it has a rear locker. <laughs> so we had this thing in some sloppy, nasty mud. Yes, we did. After a really bad storm, it was really muddy, really bad. And I just wanted to see, okay, let's give it a shot and see what it's going to do. It did not leave us stranded. Although Miss Dee Dee was in the passenger seat crying and yelling, <laughs> let me out, let me out. I'm like, sure, you want to go walk in that stuff? Go ahead. I'm going to drive out. We made it out. And she forgave me a day or two later. Coming in at number four is the tech. It's a pretty high-tech vehicle. It's definitely the highest tech vehicle that I've ever owned. Uh, one thing, the navigation system is wonderful on it. So all you gotta do is plug it in. It's gonna take you step by step. Either the lady's gonna scream at you or you can mute her and just look for yourself. But the tech is wonderful. The radio is wonderful. Um, the other thing is this has Ford Pass. So on your phone, you can pull it up you can start your truck remotely. It's gonna tell you where your truck is located. You can lock and unlock doors. You can schedule your service. It'll tell you when your service is due. And right now, even on the phone, it tells me that my washer fluid level is low and I, I need to fill it up because it's telling me to. But this has really got a lot of tech. Uh, you, you can go through and check out your tire pressure. You can check out your angle on your approach angle and everything on your vehicle because it'll tell you, you know, you're 20, 30 degrees. Um, it's just, you got all these buttons on the steering wheel, do all the wonderful stuff. 
you can't ask for a better tech package. And it's got these cool little switches up here. Um, this one, you know, sprays oil on the ground in case someone's chasing you and it'll crash. This one ejects Miss Dee Dee. <laughs> but you can set all these up to have your lights and all your accessories on your truck. Pretty cool stuff. And at number five is the overall functionality of being a pickup truck. Uh, this is a four-door pickup truck with a five-foot bed. We've had four adults in here. Rode very comfortable for over a thousand miles. No complaints. It's got a fully functional five-foot bed. Does not have a dampening tailgate because you don't need a dampening tailgate. Let it fly. No worries. Uh, the, the ride is great. This is not bumpy. It doesn't throw you all over the place. You don't have to fight to keep it in your lane. It's got a very good suspension underneath it. Uh, easy to drive thousands of miles and really not be tired. So, uh, everyday driver, this is perfect. It's certainly my everyday driver. All right, we made it to our first stop at Chuck's Classic Cycles in Tuscahoma, Oklahoma. Karaoke Thursday, live music Saturday. Sunday, Granny's Nightmare, Lord have mercy. Food, cold beer. I've been here a few times, you may not have. If you're ever on the Talamina Trail or K River Campground, this is a must stop event. So let's go check it out. Very cool stuff. I love it. That thing's for sale if you see someone needs it. Yeah, so that's two thousand is a good price for that. Yeah, it's still got the cooler in here and everything. Nice. And inside the trailer got the carpeting up in here and like you got any tour pass, on you? Yep. It's in very good shape. Someone will be lucky to have this. Chuck's known for his Philly cheese steaks, and these are awesome. Like they said, he's from Philly, so he knows what a good steak is. Miss Dee got her ham and cheese. It looks really good. And these fries. On an onion roll, yes. And these fries are amazing. It's got some good seasoning on it. Wash it down with a cold PBR we call it a good lunch all right next stop K River campground yeah we've been here before but we're gonna try doing it a little different this time it's nice cabins mm -hmm. that one too. yeah nice At the clubhouse. Lady, today you don't have to sleep in a tent on the ground. No. We're gonna okay. we're gonna go up in that cabin, treehouse cabin. Yep. Let's yep. check it out. All right. After climbing these stairs, let's climb Mount Everest. Ooh, got a nice little setup there. Yeah, I just sit here. And... All 
All right. Oh, nice, I find keys. I think I already lost the keys. You already lost the keys. That's a thousand dollar deposit. <laughs> All right, let's walk in here together. <laughs> oh, wow. Hey. Oh, I like this mm -hmm. too. Nice, They're huh? Nice. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Not big, just yeah. big enough. Nice fancy bed. It's got a place to do your business. It actually does have back and uh, Yeah. Oh yeah, there's the air conditioner. Oh. It's hot. Ooh, K cup maker. Yeah. Nice. Pretty incredible view of the campground, huh? Yeah, this is nice. There's the ranger. There's the clubhouse. Lamping area. Pretty nice. Marco's Chili Rihanna. Man, that looks good. Monterey chicken. Mm. Cool place, also, isn't it? Old. Nice. Marco's. Marco's. Was that great or what? Oh my gosh, a chili relleno, the Monterey chicken is just outstanding. So, good choice if you're in Antlers, Oklahoma, Marcos. What you think about it, Miss Dee Dee? Would you recommend this tree house at the River yes. for our viewers to come visit? Yes, I would. This was a lot of fun. It was lots of fun, really nice decorated inside. Uh, nice comfy bed. Very comfy. Air condition. Yes, air uh, condition. High tech Keurig coffee maker that I wasted 10 gallons of water trying to get the right <laughs> cup, but hey, I only got a great cup of coffee. I'm a low tech man in a high tech world. What can I say? Um, yep. But get out and have fun. The potato and chiefs crash the stock market and oil, gas, everything else, right? But if it weren't for him, it'd be another stooge in there. So don't let that crap make decisions for you there's never going to be that perfect time to have an overnighter or to take that once in a lifetime vacation right or to buy that truck or to buy the bike just do it live your life and be happy because our days are numbered you never know when your number is going to be called so exactly um this is actually been celebrating this weekend 22 years of being married to my best friend and it's been a wonderful ride mm -hmm. we just want to keep this thing going so anyhow as always thanks for watching give us a thumbs up drop me a comment and if you haven't already why haven't you subscribe, subscribe. it's subscribe. one of the few things in life that's free so hit that subscribe button. It means a lot to us because it encourages us to keep going. We're not monetized. Um, we're just we're really doing this for fun. But hey, I wouldn't mind seeing the little channel grow. And if it does, it's going to be because of you. So with that, we bid you Bye. farewell and we'll see you down the road.